but Trevor, as you told before, is 20 years that he's studying the GISA plateau, and he goes also in situ to make a practical verification of what we are doing. I have to thank Trevor because he let me know the existence of the shafts that are located in in several points of the scattered on the Giza Plateau. And now we are um, giving a particular attention to those shafts, because those shafts can be crucial uh, for uh, entering inside the day below, underneath the uh, Giza Plateau for exp maybe exploring the uh, uh, unknown city that, is, uh, that we are discovering underneath. Well, thank you, Filippo. And there's been a lot of skepticism. I know I was blown away by your first initial presentation. And the way I, I, I guess I look at it is similar to laser vibrometry. Basically during the, the Cold War, um, the reason we don't have windows on our classified rooms, right, there in our skiffs, is because you could actually shine a laser onto a window. And by shining the laser, it can pick up small phase shifts in the window, right? Will actually change change the frequency of the light through small vibrations. And now you can actually hear what's behind the window. So you're able to yes. use using optical, so using a laser, uh, you're able to 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 pick up acoustical vibrations um, behind the surface of that window. Is this a good analogy for what your what your technique does? Perfect. 